takeover. <laughs> My channel's been hijacked. No, not by Kiki. But it has been taken over by the one woman I love the most in this world. The one woman that means the most to me on this planet. And that's my mom. I can't even put the words together to share with you just how much this video means to me right now and will forever mean to me. Mom knows that we have been working on Croctober all month and she was telling me that she was gonna make a chicken stroganoff. So I was like, ah, oh, mom, in the crock pot. So I was like, mom, I wish I could film you, but the way that this was working out, she was gonna be doing this while I was at work. And I was like, oh, I wish I could film you. I wish I could leave work for an hour so I could just film you putting in the ingredients. And I just, oh, I just feel like this is a missed opportunity because first of all, I love chicken stroganoff and I would just love to get some footage so that you all would have the steps to go with the recipe. So I was planning on just filming the aftermath, like, hey, this is what happens when you make the recipe, not knowing what happened. And when I came home from work, this amazing woman surprised me with footage of her filming her making the crock pot meal. I could literally cry. My mother is not into technology. My mom is not a person that this is something that would just come naturally. And like, I would have never asked her to do this, but she did this on her own. And I've never been so proud of her. I've never been so impressed with just what she was able to do for the first time, like just doing it, throwing the camera on. And honestly, you guys, I'm just so in love with this footage. And please know, we know before you say it, there's background noise in the background that I can't get rid of. I don't know how to get rid of it. And so there is background noise. Please don't put it in the comments. Please just ignore it. We know you can still hear her. And I'm just so proud of her. Before I reveal my mom, I'm just gonna go over a couple tips that I've been thinking about all month long as I'm preparing these meals. I wanted to make sure that you're getting as much value as you can through Croctober. So we're talking about making the most of your budget ingredients. And I have a couple notes here. I just wanna kind of just get them out there for you. The first thing that has come up for me this month is to shop generic for many things. And most brands actually measure up in taste and quality, and they're usually 20 to 25% less than name brands. Nothing was more loud for me with this when it came to the generic, when it came to actually seasonings. For last week's video, I needed a bunch of seasonings. And remember who you're looking at? Remember who you're talking to? I don't have all the seasonings yet in my pantry. A lot of you have all the seasonings. I have very little seasoning. So I needed to purchase some for some of these recipes. And I'm really glad I did because I will have them for future recipes. But for a person that doesn't have a lot of spices, go generic because the name brands were way more expensive. I kind of was doing price comparisons as I went and I'm like, no way, definitely generic. And I doubt there's much of a difference to really make an impact, except for my wallet. Boom. Next is when you're doing crock pot meals and you're gonna be cooking meat for a long time in a slow cooker, you can go with the cheaper meats if you want to. Sometimes if you were cooking things in another fashion, it might be a little bit too rough, but when you put it in the slow cooker, when you put it in that crock pot, it really makes the meat an amazing, tender kind of texture, that melt in your mouth kind of texture, and you can just get away with that when you're doing the slow cooker. No one will know you picked the cheaper stuff this week. Another tip is to baggy freeze your leftovers. So if you are making crock pot meals and you've got leftover veggies, a little meat, and you're kind of just 
put it all together, keep putting it in your, in your baggie. And then when it's full, you could use it for another crock pot meal and make like a soup and just use everything you've got. The next tip is eat more beans. Beans are affordable and they're hearty and they can really fill you up. It can really help stretch your budget. So say you were gonna do ground beef, you could go a little lighter on the ground beef and increase the beans to kind of fill it up. Or of course, you could completely skip the ground beef, bulk up on the beans, do like a bean chili, et cetera, and just use that protein because that bean protein is some good protein and it will fill you up and it is on the more affordable side for sure. And lastly, before my mom gets into her crock pot meal for this Crocktober takeover, plan for leftovers. K-Squad, that beef stew leftover I had from the first meal this month they were even better than the original meal. Once those flavors have had a full 24 hours to blend, <gasps> I was in love with the leftovers. Get in love with your leftovers. My lunch the next day was scrumptious and just when you're making those meals, Put a little extra in, add a little extra veggie, add a little extra liquid, whatever makes sense, so that you have leftovers, plan for it, and savor those leftovers. Hopefully, all these little tips will help make the most of your budget ingredients when you're making crock pot meals. We all know groceries are so expensive these days, and every little bit counts. Enjoy this chicken stroganoff by my mom. My mom. Kaden's Mimi. Without further ado, here she is. Good morning. I'm Kate's mom, and I'm helping her with Crocktober. And I'm going to be today making a crock meal called Chicken Stroganoff. Um, there are usually three things that I consider when I'm going to try a new recipe. One is that it's easy. Two, it's delicious. And three, it's reasonably priced. So obviously we're going with chicken stroganoff versus beef stroganoff. Uh, chicken's cheaper than beef. So um, I'm gonna try this recipe today. Uh, what I normally do is I start by getting all the ingredients out, chopping them up, do what I have to do so that when it's time to put them in the crock pot, boom, 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 one right after the other, they're in. I'm gonna start by using a crock pot liner. I know not everybody's on board with that and that's fine. Just uh, you don't need to text us and say how terrible it is or whatever. Um, I've looked at the pros and cons and for the couple times a year I use crock pot. It's worth the risk. Okay so the first thing I did is I took the onion and I chopped it into um, small pieces and I'm going to throw that in the crock pot. Okay, the next ingredient is chicken. So what I did is I followed the directions. It said to get two pounds of skinless, boneless chicken breast halves or and or thighs. I like breasts, so I did that. And what I'm gonna do now is cut them up into smaller pieces. Okay, so I bought two um, pieces of boneless, skinless chicken. This is how the chicken looks when it's when you've cut it and cubed it, and it's about what it looks like right now. I'm gonna throw that in the pot, and I saved you from having to watch me chop. And in goes the chicken. All right, so chicken and onions are in there now. Okay, now I'm going to work on the sauce. All right, so it's a can of condensed cream of mushroom soup. Also need a third of a cup of water. There's a third of a cup of water in there. And now I have to stir it so that it looks more like gravy than soup. And this is supposed to be with garlic, but they didn't have the soup with the garlic. 
So what I'm going to do is just throw a little bit of garlic in there because I do like garlic. And I'll just kind of mix that in there. Just enough so we got a little bit of flavor without overwhelming it. Okay, so it says, after I've stirred it together, I'm going to pour it over the chicken. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And now I'm going to put it over my chicken. I'm going to put it on high and cover and let it cook for the next four hours. Then we'll get to the last part, which is obviously this was so simple that even I would can make this and not complain about it. All right. See you in four hours. Okay, so the four hours are up. That's all ready. Now we're gonna do the last part, which is to get the noodles ready. So I'm gonna get them going now, and it'll be a little while before they're cooked. Okay, the water is almost boiling. When it does, I did add some salt to it for a little flavor. Once it completely boils, then I will throw in the rest. I will throw in the, um, noodles for seven to nine minutes then i've got to let them cool etc and then there will just be one more ingredient that we'll have to add to the mix before it's ready to be served and here we go i think it was yes two cups of noodles okay so did the um, noodles and now I'm draining them in the sink they're wide noodles okay and now the last step is to put the last ingredient which is my favorite sour cream in here we like lots of sour cream don't we we sure do all right here we go and Should all I we got Myself? Yeah. Oh, and look what we got here. Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. I hope it's as good as tasting. It smells great. It smells amazing. Yeah. Okay, and I think that's it. We're ready to eat it. And chicken. It's really all that it is. I'd put some salt and pepper on it, though. I did. It needs a little something. Let's see. Good. Just noodles and chicken. That's really good. Good. Glad you like it. My mom, ladies and gentlemen. Mom, you did such a good job. And the meal was really good. Actually, when Caden was talking about the Crock-Pot meals, that was actually one of his favorite ones. The adults decided that it could use perhaps a little bit more flavor, a little bit more seasonings. So keep that in mind. If there's anything that while you're watching it, you're thinking, ooh, I might just add a dash of this or a little bit of this that you really like to the meal because it was, I don't want to say it was bland. It wasn't bland. I, we both loved it, but I think it wasn't very like pungent with flavor. So just keep that in mind. If you're a person that likes a little bit more overwhelming flavor, it was perfect for Caden. And actually it was right up my alley also. You guys, my heart is bursting with happiness that we just had my mom as a special guest right here as a Croctober takeover. Now is the time. Leave us something in the comments on how you make the most of budget ingredients for your crock pot meals this Croctober. Mom, I love you. Thank you so much for this delicious meal. Thank you for being here. Thank you for filming. Oh, you're the best. Thank you, K-Squad, for being here. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, you like talking about budgeting, frugal living, saving money, don't forget to hit subscribe. We're talking all about food this month. And Croctober's almost over, you guys. We're going to be coming to a close soon. So I hope you enjoy all these videos. See you next Friday. Bye, guys.